And now, All the Dirt, gardening tips and advice. Sponsored by the Turf and Gardening Store. Get the lawn you're looking for. And in this week's All the Dirt, going above ground to grow some mushrooms. I had an opportunity to talk with Ben Harder of Den Hill Farms and Fungi to talk about how we can grow mushrooms. And it's really simple. All you need is a log. All you need is a fresh log. Um, for shiitakes, oaks are best, but most hardwoods will work for most mushrooms that love wood. Now, okay, is, is fresh log important? Because I know on my property, I've got some trees still way down from the derecho years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, can we use trees that are already on the ground or maybe not so much? Yeah, you don't want to use a down log or any type of old log um, just because natural fungi in the community have moved into those and are starting to colonize it. And they also are drying out. You want to cut a tree down preferably right before the leaves come out, and that has the most sugar in the log to give the mushroom the most energy. And then you want to inoculate it within a week or two after falling the tree. So we're going to show us in a couple of minutes on how to actually get a log, get a mushroom going in this log, but there are many steps that you actually do before that, before we actually end up getting a bag like this to transfer it into the log. What, what, what goes into making this? Sure, yeah. So we start with a, a liquid culture like this one right here, mm -hmm. um, and then we just um, add this into sterilized media, like a sterilized sawdust for these shiitakes, and then the mushroom mycelium, which is like the roots of the mushroom, will come colonize that clean, sterilized, hydrated media, and then be ready to inoculate into more media. And they call that mushroom spawn because it's used to grow mushrooms with. We got the bag of spawn here. We poured some off into the paper cups here. We need to get this from here to the log. What do we do? Yes, we do. Uh, so we have a drill bit here with a stop collar on it. Okay. Um, and this will allow us to stop at the right depth. And so this is the um, lock inoculation. And you just drill the hole cool. in the log like that. Uh -huh. And then from there, you take these inoculation tools and this method does require you to have a tool. You could fill it by hand or cut slits in a log with a chainsaw and pack it in that way. But this is the easiest and preferred method. And this is uh, from Japan. This is how all shiitakes are grown oh, in wow. Japan. And so you just pack the uh, sawdust into the inoculation tool mm -hmm. and then plug it in like that. And you can see that it's completely filled the hole there. Now there's another one we can do, and we need to change the drill bit to go on to this next one. What is the difference between these two uh, uh, different kinds of plugs we're doing here? So the plug spawn um, is a dowel rod um, that has been inoculated, and it's mainly just the easiest method because it requires um, no tool. It requires no inoculation tool. You can just use a, the plug, the little dowel rod that, that is colonized, and a hammer. And so this one, you can get a stop collar or you can just mark where an inch mm -hmm. is on your drill bit so you see how far you have to go. And then you can drill a hole. Hopefully I went far enough there. Yeah, okay, and then these the look just like dowel rods. You just, just tap that right in there and you're good to go. Bam. And bam, there you go, you got mushrooms growing. Uh, ben has a couple of mushroom log inoculation workshops coming up in April. Medicinal logs on the 7th and shiitake logs on the 27th. You can get more information at denhillfarmandfungi.com. We got coming up on more of our, um, our uh, All the Dirt. It is coming up every Thursday and in the future we're gonna be visiting community gardens and also how to turn our front yard into a wildflower bed. This is WFXR News at Noon.